guys welcome and welcome back to my channel my name is annie and this is annie's adventures in another episode of properties with me in today's episode you're in juja i know it doesn't look like juja but we're in juja we'll be showcasing a bed sitter which is going for twelve thousand kenya shillings and a two-bedroom unit going for twenty five thousand kenya shillings and it's located in juja town strategically located and close to jayquat and close to all the basic amenities that you need in a town so stay tuned to the end and uh, I'm sure you get all the details that you need for these units. Working towards the bed sitter, which will be starting off with it. Um, I want you to know that this building is still under the last final touches, hence washing here and there and uh, final touches here and there. So the apartment looks so good. You better go there in person and see it for yourself. I won't ask for much. All I want is sleeping on a Sunday. This is how the bed sitter looks like and you can see it's a good size, it's big without exaggerating. You can see for yourself that uh, it's well done, it's spacious, it's modern and it's going for 12,000 Kenya shillings and only a few remaining. So as we continue, please make sure you book a unit for yourself before they are done. I love the fact that it has a big huge window as you can see it and it's allowing the air natural light to come in through and then we have kind of separated kitchen which is open and still it's a bed sitter i think that's a plus we have our fitted chandelier which complements this space so well we have our wardrobe right there, which is a double door wardrobe. Okay. Our gray floor looks so appealing. Worry not, it's in the middle of cleaning. At this point, you can be able to view the neighborhood right from your window. And here is an up close view of the wardrobe. In case you get to get this bed sitter, you know which space of the wardrobe you'll be working with. And guys, as I had mentioned earlier, people are already moving in. So you better hurry and book a unit before they are all booked. Let's take a look at the kitchen, which is an open plan kitchen and has fitted cabinets, running water and a sink. And also you can see the storage cabinet. Is that not too much for a bed sitter? Hold on and keep on watching. So guys, you've seen the kitchen, how it looks. Let's go to the washroom and have a look at it. I'm sure you've seen the washroom is spacious. It's combined toilet and bathroom together and it has a mirror, a hand sink inside. I'm sure you've seen it's a well done toilet. Anyways, leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think. Yeah. 
that's it for the bed sitter we'll be moving on to the two bedroom unit in the same apartment so stay tuned don't go anywhere we see how the two bedroom apartment looks like immediately we start off with the two bedroom unit and from here this is the sitting living area and you can have a look and let me know what you think guys as i mentioned earlier this apartment is still under the last stage of cleaning up and clearing up but still it's very habitable and people have already moved in so also take that chance go look at it and book a unit for yourself getting into the kitchen this is how the kitchen looks it's a closed kitchen and it is fitted with cabinets a sink and also has a balcony which is right here and this is how the balcony looks like it's of a good size and you can work with that having checked out the kitchen and the sitting area now we move on to the washroom and the two bedrooms that i mentioned earlier i love this apartment because it has this space which is kind of small corridor i would call it that and has a separate bathroom and separate toilet a hand sink outside which has a mirror and also you are left with that a small space around there Moving on to check out the bedrooms. Looking at our first bedroom, it's of a good size, has a fitted wardrobe for storage, and has a good sized window, and the light as well is enough. Walking towards our second bedroom which is a master and suite how could i forget to mention that it's a master and suite guys like you have your own private bathroom camp toilet you don't have to mix with the rest of the family members to share the washrooms yeah it's cool i know, you know we can pull it from the window, also in this particular apartment i'm happy that they are well lit they are not like a dim or you have to use the lights all through no it's optional so meaning there's enough light coming in through let's check out our washroom oh la la it's spacious i'm sure you can agree with me on that and also this space for the bathroom i don't know whether they'll put those robes or they'll put glass anyways we'll see that on a later on video the bathroom is fitted with the basic necessities of a bathroom and uh, has a sink and also a mirror and i'm sure you can comfortably work with that that's it for this two bedroom unit and i've really enjoyed taking you through this unit 
but before you go let me take you outside and show you where the hanging lines are how it looks from the outside and also we have a basement parking guys i forgot also to mention that how could i and as you can see the apartment is done only the cleaning and the final touches taking in place so book a unit so that you're not left out and also you can enjoy a new apartment and this is the basement parking guys which has enough space for everyone if you have a car so this is the apartment for you and if you're looking forward to get a new unit please call that number down below and you'll be assisted thank you for watching see you on my next one